cheated in a marriage have 230% more sexual partners before they're married than women who don't cheat in a marriage. So the there opposite. is now data showing a scientific correlation between high body count and a likelihood of a woman cheating in a relationship. Does body count matter? The answer is Yes. If you guys want to sleep with hundreds of men, that's not the issue. That's not the problem we're saying. But what we are saying is there may be some correlation between a woman who either wants to have sex with a lot of men not being successful in a marriage or a woman having sex with a lot of men causing different neurological changes or endocrine changes that cause her to not be able to function in a marriage. And so good advice might be, according to this data, to not have a ton of sexual partners before you get married and for men to not marry a woman with a lot of sexual partners. And thirty. So uh, this is a video of uh, some guy on another podcast that we got to break down because they don't know what the hell they doing. You feel they get lucky and go viral at Blue Moon. So now we got to talk about it. But what he's saying is some true stuff in here. He's talking about how women with more body counts is less likely to have a successful marriage, which is true. But what I want to know is if that's, if everybody knows that, that's probably not nothing you got to study to tell. Why is it that all these men is passing the same women around? You feel me? Everybody keep going with Kim Kardashian and Amber Rose and, and the Cardi B's and stuff like that. Man, that's insane. Like, real talk to keep passing them same women around. Can we address that? You feel me? Real talk. Hey, we're gonna play some of the video though. Women who have, who have cheated, cheated in a marriage, in a marriage have 230 percent more, more sexual partners, partners before they're, they're married than, than women who don't cheat in a marriage. marriage. So there is now data showing a scientific correlation between high body count and a likelihood of a woman cheating in a relationship. Does body count right? So they now they saying it's a study showing, you feel me? It's a study showing now. You feel me? Of women with a high body count is likely to cheat in a relationship. You feel me? But it shouldn't take studies to show that. You feel me? Obviously, she liked to have sex. You feel me? It's a lie. Now, that's crazy. <laughs> that's really crazy. That's always crazy. <laughs> Obviously, she liked to have sex. On phone number you feel me? Real talk. On the guys. <laughs> <laughs> She liked to have sex, man. So you know, wife and hub probably wasn't a good idea. You feel me? You probably didn't make the the best life decision. decision. Right. You feel me? Real talk. Yeah. We, whenever, whenever, when, when, whenever you pick a woman that you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, twenty niggas done, done ran through. It probably shouldn't be the woman that you want to pick. Yeah, it's probably, you know not, it's it's probably not a good idea. She's probably not the right one, brother. She she, she gonna have you in hell living like Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a lot here. You in here. It's gonna be in a bunch of entanglement. Entanglement, a bunch of entanglement. It's gonna be entangled like a. Uh, it's gonna be a rattlesnake. You feel me? It's a lot. And, and like with Will Smith, it don't matter how how much you pay or how much you can provide or if if you go one hundred percent, you you do everything for this woman, buy what she wants, buy big houses, all that. Mm -hmm. She's still not happy. She still she's still not happy for some reason. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing that a man, you know what I'm saying, a man that is providing the 100% can do about that. You know what I'm saying? So, what that, she'll brag or not. She, 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 ain't bra she ain't bragging on him. She entangled on him. That's what she did. <laughs> so, like you. Hell no. Nah. 20, good night. <laughs> man, not, not being successful, successful in a marriage, marriage or, or a woman, a woman having, having sex with a lot of men causing, causing different, different neurological, neurological changes, changes or endocrine, endocrine changes that cause her to not be able to function, function in a marriage. marriage. And, and so, so good, good advice, advice might... Right? So studies show that you having too many uh, sexual partners is going to make you dysfunctional in a marriage. Like, like, come on, man. Like, at this point, what are we doing out here as people? Right. What are we doing, man? We need a study to tell you that. You need a study to tell you that you had sex with over 20 men and you're going to be the mother of the year. You're going to be the wife. You're going to be the wife that men say, happy wife, happy life. You're going to be that yeah. woman that make a nigga say that. Make a nigga, nigga want to pay that 100%. You make a nigga pay the 100% while you sit back and chill. Yeah. Right, cool. Look, I just like it if I could real quick. 
I know way back in the days, in the, in the worldly days, you know what I'm saying? I've known niggas that, that, that'll take that woman that is literally the, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the go-to whore that everybody go to just when they ready to, or the head doctor, you know what I'm saying? The nigga go, you know what I'm saying, cuff that up like right. he, like, you know what I'm saying, this is his woman now. And then he wonder why she always out there cheating, why she always out there, you know what I'm saying, doing all this uh, uh, bogus stuff to him and, and treating him like dirt. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So one thing we had to do, uh, we had to charge men on this one too. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. We have to charge men because it's men that allows this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If men stop loving whores, then women will stop being whores. You know what I'm saying? If men will stop treating these women like they on a goddamn pedestal and can't do no wrong, you know what I'm saying? And and, 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 and not uh not be that simp, not be that trip to a to a whore. I'm gonna I'm I'm tell you what's going on. A lot a lot of this is because okay, men was raised by their mama. Right. That's a fact. So they being raised by their mama, they emotional and weak and feel like they gotta protect their mama. And they see their mama was a whore. They see they look, they feel like they gotta protect their mama. So now when they get a woman, they feel like they gotta protect her at all costs. That's why they accepting all this base behavior from women. You feel me? That's why men is accepting all this bullshit because they was raised by their mama. They seen her struggling. The daddy wasn't around. They don't even know what masculinity is. is you right. can hit them in the face with a baseball bat that say masculine on it, and they still won't know what the hell it is. Real yeah, talk. Nice. Shit. <laughs> you feel me? So, so ba ba yeah, I know, right? Is, yeah. is that every way? <laughs> so, so basically, basically, what you're saying is the, these weak ass niggas that was grown up, uh, raised up by their mama. Saw their mama being a whore and had to protect their mama, so now they protect every whore that they run across. Protect every whore they they go get the whore, like you they said. They go get the whore. Go get the whore and try to cuff her up, and then realize that they not successful in relationships. With a study in 2024, <laughs> it's a lie. It took a study to tell you that a whore is not successful in relationships. It's crazy. That's crazy. I'm just keeping it real. With that's you. crazy. That's insane. Like hey, real we, talk. We, we gonna have to do that. We got to, that. That's crazy. Like, come on, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Hell nah. We, we know love nah. was on here. Real talk. <laughs> yep. This, this was up. Hey, he got. Hey, Shalom. He got the whole family checking in. What's that? Yeah, crazy. What's that? Crazy. Yeah. We turned up tonight. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like we going over that's, the time tonight. That's the brother been, from Lexington, right? No, nah, this the brother from Louisville. Oh, that's brother from Louisville. That's, that's his son checking. That's his son and his rib just checked in. Yeah, yeah. But look, uh, yeah. Go ahead with that scripture though. Come on, come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter three and verse one. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, don't take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff. Nah, my bad. Let's go down to, which one do I want? Let's go to uh, 24. My bad. 3 and 24? Come on. Come on, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 24. And it shall come to pass... That instead of sweet smell, ooh wee, there shall be stink. There shall be what? Stink. Come on, man. You can't make this up, man. This is the Bible. This is what the Bible say. This is a prophecy about the state of black people. The state black people is gonna be in, and this is talking about all women. It say instead of a sweet smell, instead of you going down there and it smell like water and roses. Ooh wee. That motherfucker smell like a gas station. Smell like, uh, <laughs> smell the, like uh, 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 the bank, the bank of the river. Oh man, like, man like fish. it's number fish. So, so this, 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 the Bible like smell like salmon croquettes. <laughs> Instead of a sweet smell, it smell like salmon croquettes, and now we know why. Because your body count is through the roof. So, you hear me? So, so this the Bible over two thousand years ago prophesying that. If a woman has a high body count, then her pH balance will be off. And she ain't gonna have good relationships. Cause and niggas don't like niggas ain't gonna like that shit. They, <laughs> so nah, like it. Let's just keep it real. Like, like niggas no, ain't gonna like that shit. Like no funky smell now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hell no. Nah. Yeah, don't like no 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 funk back there. Yeah, that's now. insane. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's the word of the night. That's crazy. <laughs> Shit, it's a locker. Hell nah, that's over stupid, man. <laughs> Hell nah. And it is what it is. And instead of a girdle, a uh, rent. Right, instead of a girdle, a rent. Like, if you know what a girdle is, that's like some women used to wear that was like, it, it showed class, basically. You feel me? On their dresses and stuff like that. It kept them, you know, like they, like basically like the hourglass shape. But instead of rent, which means like dirty clothes, worn out clothes, bummy clothes, 
or walking around with a see-through th dress on with titty tape covering the nipple. It's a lie. That's, that's the times we living in. It is what it is. Isaiah prophesied it. I didn't do it. This is the Bible. We reading the Bible. If you're mad at us, don't be mad at us. Be mad at the Most High in Christ. We just yeah, soldiers. Be, be, be mad at Isaiah. You feel me? We just, he, he we just soldiers for just the Most High in Christ, and we just go out and do their will. You don't be mad at us. You feel me? It is what it is. What, what Christ say? They hate. They hated me before they hated you. That's what Christ said. You feel That's me? a fact. I'm reading these comments. So like you, sir. That that last one right there. That 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 tore me up. <laughs> yeah. Not um, the hot sauce too. Good damn. night. Good night. Hot, it's real. They definitely hot. Yeah, that's definitely some hot down there. Uh, <laughs> what they call it, burning nowadays. Mm -hmm. That's a <laughs> and, fact. Come on, God. And instead of well set hair, uh, instead of well set hair baldness. Right. Instead of well set hair baldness, you 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 wearing all them wigs. You putting all the gorilla glue to keep the baby hair intact. You got the gorilla glue <laughs> keeping the baby hair intact, and you're wondering why when you take it off, you're losing inches of your hair. You feel me? Well, Project Pat one playing. He said, "Ball head, scally whack. Ain't got no hair in the back. Ball head weaving." But well, look, and I'm telling you this out of love. Black women, Hispanic, and Native Indian. I'm telling you this out of love. We don't care about no weave. You don't have to have no weave. We are gonna love you like you are. You don't have to keep That's messing up the inches and the edges on your hair, trying to look like a white girl. That's a fact. Real niggas is back in style, and you could thank Commander Johanna for that. Real talk. That's a fact. You go ahead. Come on. And instead of st stomacha of girding. And set cloth. Right, and that's just reiterating how like they just gonna have on base clothing. Base mean low. You feel me? No class. Oh, you walking around with leggings on and a t-shirt, thinking you fresh, you fly. You feel me? Walking around like sexy red. That's sackcloth. You feel me? In our culture, that's sackcloth. That's not nothing you supposed to be wearing outside. That stuff y'all wear outside is stuff you supposed to be wearing to sleep. Or around the house with your man. You feel me? But y'all wearing it outside. Because we became real low. This is all Isaiah is saying that our women in this period of time is going to be real low. Go ahead. Come on, come on. And burning in, instead of beauty. And burning instead of beauty. And we know damn well a lot of you women is burning. Oh. A lot of you women got more herpes <laughs> than a little bit. You hear me? Real talk. And that's because you got a hundred nice. body counts. Your body counts is through the goddamn roof. You hear me? Real talk. But yeah, that's all I had on that. <laughs> so like, I, I think we uh beat the head dead, dead yeah, horse on that yeah, one. You feel yeah, yeah, me? You feel me?